Welcome to The Leather Journey. I'm Dex and tonight we're going to continue our wax play series by talking about setting up the wax play area. Why are we doing a whole video on that? Well, if you get wax dripped on carpet, it's very difficult to get it out. In fact, uh, at most BDM, BDSM conventions, some of the hotels won't even allow wax play because they don't want to take a chance on getting wax in their carpet. Uh, so almost anywhere inside the house, even if you're waxing on a tile or a wood floor, uh, yes, you could clean wax off of it, but it's not going to be as easy as if you just take a few minutes and prep the area. Now, if I'm setting up a, a dungeon in a garage uh, or a warehouse and that garage has polished concrete floor, then that polished concrete is perfect for a wax play area. And I don't know that I would necessarily tarp it, uh, although there's certainly nothing wrong with tarping it. So inside the house, I'm gonna recommend you use a painter's drop cloth or a tarp and tarp the area uh, around where you're gonna be waxing. Wax is gonna splatter. So aside from tarping directly under the massage table or the bondage table we're using, I want to tarp, you know, a good five or six foot area around that to catch any splatter. Uh, then the table itself. I personally like a massage table. Most of them are padded. Uh, a good massage table will be rated to four or 450 pounds. So uh, people come in all different shapes and sizes. If you're going to buy a massage table, invest in one that's going to support anybody that wants to enjoy wax play. Um, I, you can do wax play in a bed. It's not as easy because it's better if you have access all the way around a bed, but a single bed that had access around three sides certainly would, would work. So then on the massage table, I'm going to take a fitted sheet, a single fitted sheet that I don't worry about if I get a little wax on it. We'll make a nice covering that can be washed. And then even on top of that sheet, I personally like taking an inexpensive shower curtain that I might get at a dollar store uh, and using it because if I use the shower curtain, the wax falls on the shower curtain when I'm done. I wrap it up, throw it away, and I'm done. Uh, some people will use pallet wrap and wrap the table before, and that's certainly fine. To me, pallet wraps a little more uh, trouble than just using an inexpensive shower curtain. Um, obviously, you're, if you're using a crock pot or a paraffin pot, uh, you need to be close enough to an electric outlet so that the cord doesn't create a trip hazard. Uh, if, it, if it comes across the area where the wax top is gonna be walking, then tape it down so no one trips over it. You also wouldn't want to catch your foot on that cord and pull four or five pounds of liquid wax off onto the floor because you spilt the pot. So a lot of that is common sense, uh, but if you don't think about it and you don't prepare for it and you just go and do a waxing and you end up with wax on your carpet uh, or wax somewhere where you don't intend it, then you're gonna be sorry that you didn't take a few minutes to prepare for wax play. 